Hey, hello, what if one of your stupidest moments ever was captured on video? Hey, it happened to me. I want you to check out the video and then I want to talk about some of the stupidest things you can do in marriage. So check out this video. We have four brave gentlemen here about to attempt the four horsemen challenge. This is the hottest burger around. Are you ready? Yeah. It's already burning. It's burning done. through the glove. <laughs> and go. This is hot. It hurts. <laughs> So there you have it. That's one of the stupidest things I've ever done in my adult life on purpose. I attempted the four horsemen challenge. It's got four of the worst peppers, the worst one being the ghost pepper. That does not belong in anyone's body ever. They use that stuff as elephant mace to scare off elephants in Africa. And they put four of them on this burger I attempted. A burger that you have to wear gloves to eat. A burger that burned desperately going in and it burned dangerously going out. No one should ever, ever, ever attempt this. It's just stupid. It does not belong in your body. Now, I want to set that up to talk about five things that do not belong in any marriage ever. So these things do not belong in your marriage. If you see them, there's some red flags. It does not mean your marriage is over, but it means you need to get these things out of your marriage ASAP. So five things. The first one is avoiding. Now avoiding is like ignoring or stonewalling. But if you remember back when you first fell in love and you were like, oh, I just can't wait to see the one I love again, you longed for them. Well then what happens when things get to a rough patch, when you've just been together a lot of years and, and things get like tense or heated and the first thing you do when things get heated is you wanna head out. That should not be. Like what God has joined together, let no one separate. And if you're the one that's separating through stonewalling or avoiding, um, you need to suck it up buttercup. Even though I know there's a conflict, you need to kind of take it head on with love, with grace, embrace each other. So avoiding does not belong in any marriage ever. The number two thing that does not belong in any marriage ever is name calling or insulting each other. Now, if you remember back when you were falling deep in love and you had cute little pet nicknames for each other, like maybe you called her baby and she called you big papa. But then after a while, if things get tense, you no longer call each other those cute names. She's no longer baby. She becomes like psycho nag. And you don't call him big papa. You call him, hey, lazy jerk. Could you get off the couch for a moment? Now, if you see name calling in your relationship, that's like a check engine light on your car blinking. Something's wrong under the hood. It's got to be checked out soon. So name calling has no place at all in any marriage so it's got to go the number three thing that has got to get out of your marriage is criticizing hey do you remember your wedding vows all right they were vows about how you would love and honor cherish each other for better or for worse now if some of those wedding vows have been broken or many of your marriage expectations have gone unmet all right there's got to be a better way to communicate that to each other than like criticizing each other and nagging each other right that wasn't anywhere in the vows you didn't say you're going to nag them till death do us part but husbands and wives we've got to build each other up words of affirmation if there is some correcting that needs to happen let's let those corrections and those communications happen in love Nagging has never been the key ingredient to any good marriage, so criticizing, nagging, it's got to go. The fourth thing that does not belong in any marriage is invalidating. Now, invalidating is the dirty little secret weapon of the passive aggressive spouse. This is the one that I struggle with the most. Now, invalidating your spouse can be anything you say that would make your spouse feel less valued or less important in your life. And it doesn't have to be words. It can be a look like the eye rolling is the key 
look of invalidating. Now, if you're invalidating your spouse and they don't feel value from you, then there's the most dangerous thing is they could be looking for value from something or someone else. So invalidating has got to get out of your marriage. Hey, the fifth thing that has no place in your marriage is scorekeeping. Right, now I never keep score in my marriage, but if I did, I would totally be winning. Totally just kidding. Uh, if you win against your spouse, is that really a win? Well, not if the two of you are one, because that's the way God created us. The two become one. Oneness, absolutely beautiful. Scorekeeping tears that apart. Scorekeeping sounds like, well, she doesn't do this for me, so I'm not gonna do that for her. There's no place for that at all. Keep score with your buddies if you want to, but in your relationship, do not keep score. So scorekeeping with your spouse has no place in your marriage. Now, of the things we talked about that don't belong in your marriage, I'd love to get some wisdom from Scripture. In the book of Colossians, in a verse 3, talks about this. These are things we should put on, put into our marriage. 1 Corinthians 3, verses 12, starts and says, Since God chose you to be the holy people He loves, you must clothe yourself with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Make allowances for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Above all else, clothe yourself with love, which binds all together in perfect harmony. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts, for as members of one body you are called to live in peace and always be thankful.